those pressures allow you to discover this little world, forbidden world in many ways of violence that mm -hmm. you could explore through sport. You can explore mm -hmm. it in. Uh, it's more socially acceptable to explore it through sport for sure. And even, but even then, there's like uh, at times it's socially unacceptable. So I beat Sam Schilt. I'm he cut my right eyebrow. I cut him and busted his nose and he's bleeding all over me as I have an arm bar on top. I'm getting, you know, it's raining blood. Just quote some Slayer uh, from a lacerated Sem Schilt, <laughs> bleeding in his horror, creating my structures. Now I shall rain in blood. But uh, I win the fight, arm bar, nasty one. I get on my feet and the first thing I do is I wipe all the blood off onto my hands and I lick it and I, do my thing mm -hmm. and l all the MMA journalists freaked out Dana Weiss like man I don't know about that you know we, you know we don't want him doing th everybody had this huge problem and then some folks would even contend with, oh you know what are you trying to do I'm like no 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 this isn't planned this isn't I don't yeah. think of these things this yeah. isn't the, this is how I really feel yeah. this is who I really am and you know it was even kind of comical after the fact you know and, and BJ Penn was on the very card with me mm -hmm. watching him at some point in his career, all of a sudden win fights and then, and then do this licking the glove thing. And everyone thinks it's the coolest thing ever. And I'm like, Hey, fuck faces. I did this in 2002 or one, 2001. And BJ Penn actually back then was like, dude, you're a badass. You're a killer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, where did that come from? Because that seems like a deeply human moment. I could say I could just be, you know, goofy about it and call it orgiastic. You know, to, to are we, align are with, we back with, with to Mike Tyson? Tyson? Yeah, but Tyson, but uh, no, no, it, it, it isn't. It's beyond that. Uh, Is it a celebration? I've had, pretty, of human I've had some pretty decent orgasms in my life at this point. I'm 43, yes. so yeah. but no, none have ever compared to that. Like I said, it is a feeling of highest being to me, and that's I, your Ubermensch moment. This is this is where I feel like the restrictions of general existence in society are gone. And I get to fully live uh, in a state that feels more meaningful of, of the most meaning. You know, I think of it as life and death. And I, it's just, it is the way I'm built. And I don't have, I've never had any problem applying violence. Like it doesn't, I, I don't know where it comes from or how you would define it or whatever, if you want to stick me under in a, in a psychologist chair. But like, I don't there's a part of me that can just like, I, no, if, if I'm going to apply, I can apply violence to any level and be okay with it. And it doesn't, I don't lose sleep. It doesn't bother me. It's not a problem. It's, it was me learning how to fully understand violence, humans, and, and the broader perspective that allowed me to think about things and like, well, what am I, what, what do I really want to accomplish with my actions in the world just on a whole, you know, not compartmentalizing, uh, my sporting career. Even when I get in the ring, y y I, I don't have any mercy generally. And if I do, it's because I make a, a, a really deliberate attempt to be in a state where I can have mercy. If I just go in there to fight with everything I got, I, there is zero. The natural mercy. state. There's violence. nothing. There's nothing okay. that will hold me back other than the referee, and that's that. You know, I I know I agreed to to be allowed to do and not to do, but but within that, like, no. And I expect it to be done to me. But in terms of values, in terms of seeing what, to me, violence is uh, is just yet another canvas that humans can uh, paint beautifully on. Clearly, I mean, uh, we have venerated the violent. Uh, there are communists that venerate the violent on their behalf. Mm -hmm. There are national socialists that venerate the violent there. And then if you remove it from an ideological perspective, we venerate the violent uh, when they're a hero. We venerate the violent in our religion. Well, I mean, I guess some people venerate the violence of, of Yahweh and Sodom and Gomorrah, right? So, or, or do we say Jehovah? I don't know. 